It turns out that we use a lot of idioms in our everyday speech in the UK. An idiom is a phrase which has an established meaning. So when you use the idiom, we know what it means, but the words themselves actually don't make sense in that context. <laughs> so learning to understand and use idioms can give you a huge advantage when interacting with native English speakers. And if you want to sound like a native English speaker yourself, then learning idioms will help. We've learned a lot about animal idioms and we've learned about weather idioms. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn 20 idioms that relate to childhood and family. Let's get started. The first idiom is to take after someone. If you take after an older member of your family, that means you resemble them. This phrase is also sometimes used when talking about personality, interests or traits, as well as physical appearance. She's got the most beautiful, big blue eyes. She definitely takes after her grandmother. The second idiom is to sleep like a baby. To sleep like a baby <laughs> means to sleep very well, if your baby sleeps well, if you're lucky enough, or peacefully. Oh, I slept like a baby last night. That bed was so comfortable. The third idiom is a chip off the old block. A chip off the old block is someone who resembles their parents in character or appearance. So similar to take after but referring only to a parent and their child. Henry has just started playing football, just like his dad, and he's very talented. Here's a chip off the old block. The fourth idiom is to follow in someone's footsteps. To follow in someone's footsteps means to do as another person has done before. It's particularly used when referring to career choices or making journeys, but can be used in lots of different contexts. Well, I think I'm going to follow in my grandfather's footsteps and become a teacher. The fifth idiom is child's play. This is a phrase that we use to describe something that's very easy. Ah, making a lasagna may seem complicated, but actually it's child's play. The sixth idiom is to run in the family. If something runs in the family, it's something that a lot of the family have. It's often used to describe abilities or traits or diseases. They are all so ambitious. It just seems to run in the family. The seventh idiom is in one's blood. If something is in someone's blood, it means it's a fundamental part of their character. It's part of who they are as a person. This phrase is often used to suggest that your family has a history of similar traits or interests. Music is in my blood. My dad played guitar and I want to follow in his footsteps. The eighth idiom is new kid on the block. If someone is a new kid on the block, that means that they are new to a job, city or club. It's usually used to refer to children or young people, the new kid on the block. Everybody, this is Tara. She's the new kid on the block. So could someone show her around, please? The ninth idiom is bun in the oven. If a woman has a bun in the oven, that means that she is pregnant, just like me. Have you heard that Kelly's got a bun in the oven? Oh, isn't it exciting? The 10th idiom is baby steps. This is a phrase we use to describe small actions which work towards a larger process. Moving house is such a huge job. I'm gonna have to start with baby steps and just sort through my wardrobe today. <laughs> One thing at a time. The 11th idiom is to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yikes! 
This is one that's not used too often anymore, but I thought this was a perfect example of just how silly idioms can be. To throw the baby out with the bathwater means to eliminate something good by accident when you're trying to eliminate something bad or useless. I wanted to clear some space on my computer and I've accidentally deleted everything. Oh, I've thrown the baby out with the bathwater. This particular one can sometimes be used as a warning too. If you think that someone's in danger of getting rid of something important or valuable, be careful. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. The twelfth idiom is to fall out. To fall out with someone means to argue with them. Oh no. Ah, uh, she's fallen out with her sister over nothing. It's so silly. The thirteenth idiom is bad blood. If there's bad blood between two people or two groups, that means that there is an ill feeling between them, that they don't like each other, usually because of something that's happened in the past. In Romeo and Juliet, the Capulets and the Montagues have bad blood. The fourteenth idiom is to wear the trousers. To wear the trousers is an informal phrase which means to be the dominant partner in a relationship. Who's the dominant partner in your relationship? Is it you? Or is it your other half? Oops. Right, okay, I'll check the plan with my partner. He's the one that wears the trousers. The fifteenth idiom is to rule the roost. To rule the roost means to be the person in the group that makes all the decisions. I may be the parent, but at the moment, Jacob rules the roost. The sixteenth idiom is like taking candy from a baby. Because of the word candy, which is American, rather than the word sweets, which is British, we can tell that this is more of an American phrase, but it has definitely been adopted here in British culture. So if something is like taking candy from a baby, it means that it's very easy. Finding a nice coffee shop in London is like taking candy from a baby. There's just so many to choose from. The seventeenth idiom is one's own flesh and blood. If someone is your own flesh and blood, it means that they're a part of your close family, they're related to you. I know he's wrong, but he's my own flesh and blood, so I don't want to argue with him. The eighteenth idiom is black sheep. If someone is the black sheep of the family, that means that they're regarded as a strange or disreputable family member. Someone who deviates from the family's rules or expectations. She was very rebellious in high school and it only got worse. Now she's moved away and we've not heard from her in years. She's definitely the black sheep of the family. The nineteenth idiom is to throw one's toys out of the pram. This is a phrase which means to get irrationally angry or upset if you don't get exactly what you want. It's a phrase we can use to describe adults and because you're comparing them to a child, it implies that you think they are being childish. Oh, ignore him. He's just throwing his toys out of the pram. He'll calm down eventually. And the twentieth and final idiom is born with a silver spoon in their mouth. If someone is born with a silver spoon in their mouth, that means that they are from a very rich family and were born into wealth. Prince William was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. So there we have twenty family and childhood related idioms, but there are plenty more. If you can think of any, please do share them in the comments below. And for your homework today, I want you to choose three of the idioms that we've discussed in this video. Think about a situation where you could use them in real life, and don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below because, well, I love reading them. If you're looking for something else to watch right now, then I highly recommend this lesson here. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. I'll see you soon.